I'm here live on this rainy, honestly, kind of gloomy Saturday night in Newark at the Prudential Center in this Saturday night matchup between the Ottawa Senators and the New Jersey Devils. The Ottawa Senators come out on top 5-2, to two, impressive performance from the Senators, and all game long, Devils really not showing a ton of heart, a ton of energy, and just relatively flat all game long. Senators took advantage of that, and tonight, the Senators take advantage of this great opportunity at this point in the season and get the victory. 5-2. to a ton of early excitement in this first period between both teams, Devils with a ton of scoring opportunities in front of the net, and Kostelik and McDermott going at it, dropping the gloves for a fight. That was also early in this game, so a lot of fireworks to start this one off. It's eventually the Senators who get in the goal column first. It's Matteo Joseph scoring and giving his Senators a lead going into the locker room for the first intermission. A lot of chances, honestly, for both teams in that first period. Devils seemingly had infinite opportunities right in front of the net. And the Senators have three power plays in that first period. So both teams seeing kind of equal amounts of opportunity. And the Devils kind of in low spirits coming into the second period, seeing a lot of chances and no success and kind of a deflating feeling around the Prudential Center. But seemingly seconds into the second period, Jesper brought on the breakaway, scores for the Devils, gets the Devils in the scoring column and ties this game up 1-1, giving the Devil fans some much needed energy and some much needed hope in this game. And then less than a minute later, less than a minute into the period, the Devils score their second of the period and second of the game. It's Tomas Nozick scoring the second goal for the Devils and giving the Devils a lead. The Devils coming into this period down one nothing and deflated now less than a minute later up 2-1 and with seemingly all the momentum in the world a baby coming up so congratulations to the kachuk family and who knows maybe uh, 20 25 years down the road there'll be a new generation of kachuks in the nhl dawson mercer attacks forward kachuk spilled it and Nosek scores tomas Nosek puts the devils ahead with two goals We learned a little bit later in the period, not much later, still in the front half of the second period, that that momentum and energy can only take you so far. Ridley Grieg is the one who's going to equalize for the Ottawa Senators, still not even at the halfway point of the period. We've now had three goals in this second period and an equalizing goal for the Ottawa Senators. Devils just had gotten that lead, and Ottawa seemingly snatching the lead and the momentum right back. And then Angus Crookshank right after scores for the Ottawa Senators, taking that lead right back, a lead that they had given up for only a few minutes, once again gaining the lead and kind of the dominant position in this game back and taking momentum that I don't think the Devils got back the rest of the night back half of the second period started with a goal for the Ottawa Senators once again. It was Thomas Chebo who was giving the Ottawa Senators a two-goal lead, doubling their lead off a beautiful pass from his captain, Brady Kachuk, and the Ottawa Senators offense is absolutely cooking now, and they have fully kind of gained all sorts of momentum in this game. The Devils really deflated at this point their players and their fans, and seemingly no energy in the Prudential Center now, and as quiet as a library. Most of the third period for the Devils, a mix of frustration and quietness from this crowd. Mostly large stretches of this third period matched with no energy at all from the crowd or the players. And some stretches of this third period matched with large boos the Devil fans were sending to their team on the ice, showing their frustration in their group. Drake Batherson, with around 10 minutes to go in this period, scored an absolute beauty for the Ottawa Senators, mostly putting this game away way figuratively and literally for the Devils and kind of deflating the Devils entirely sending most of the Devil fans to the exits and that's how this game would end it would end 5-2 in favor of the Ottawa Senators the New Jersey Devils coming off two wins coming into this game tonight and grabbing a loss definitely not what they wanted to do with this sort of opportunity especially with some division games coming up ahead as well and disappointment has to be radiating off this Devil team right now. Jesper Brat of the New Jersey Devils spoke about his team's offense tonight. I think our preparations was, was great. There was nothing like that. I think our mental preparation was good too. I think it was all about our execution. I think we all had a great practice yesterday. We had a good morning, morning skate. We were all ready to go. 
think it was just come down to our execution that passes were on the tape. We didn't help each other enough, and um, we got ourselves in trouble without with not helping each other out. Jesper Bratt's teammate Jake Allen spoke after the game about his individual performance. Uh, you know, obviously it wasn't uh, wasn't my best game, but uh, you know, I'm gonna move on here and get it for next week. That's it for us here in New Jersey at the Prudential Center. The Ottawa Senators come in and get a very impressive 5-2 win over the New Jersey Devils. The New Jersey Devils will have a chance to get back on the right track as they travel to Long Island tomorrow to take on the Islanders. That one is at 5. For WFUV Sports, I'm Chris Carino.